G'day fellas, welcome back to another video over at Jazz Adventures as you see behind me mate. We're back at the duck pond for the part 2 since we got 100 likes on our Murray Cod video. We're going back so hope you're ready for this and if you are remember to hit that like button, subscribe and uh, let's get a bit, bit of carp for bait and make our way down there eh? Might try the same section, might try a new one, we don't know yet but I can guarantee a big fish is on the way. Whether we land it or not it's a different story. Hang in there fellas. Yee! got one look at that boys we've been here for 30 seconds Yew! all right fellas we've gone and done it we've only been here for like a couple minutes if that pulled out the fattest little hybrid I've ever caught he's a little chunk that head's gonna be good bait though man so uh I might try for five ten more minutes while it's peak hour traffic it's currently four o'clock so there's a lot of cars around on the road and I'm gonna wait till 5 36 maybe before I head down fish just the Arvo and if I can get on and remember 100 more likes and you'll get way more of these videos so remember to like the video and share it around to a few friends and let's get this guy chopped up for bait yee legends Got a really good fish on, boys. How's that? There we go fellas, fish number two. This one's a bit better to chop up. I might even put the other one on hold once we get there. So uh, we'll see you on the water once we get there, legends. Like and subscribe for at least these catches and uh, let's get a big one. All I'm gonna do boys is probably cut the head off this one and put that one on hold. See how we go, eh? They're still moving, look. That's how fresh the bait is, it's still kicking. So I gotta make sure I kill it. That's a big bait, boys. Barely even fits in my hand. And its head's still moving. Pissing out blood. Would any of you ever dare to put that on for bait? 8 -o circle hook, massive head, dripping blood. Let's get it out there. This is for those of you who thought that first bait was big. It's even bigger. Oh, carp man. What do you think? Will it get eaten? I'm going to punch, punch some holes in it, get some blood out and cast it in. Yeah, a whole carp, fellas. Alright fellas, as you see we made it to the Yarra. I've got two rods in, they've got massive baits, like crazy big baits. And uh, if one of them goes we can guarantee it's going to be a big fish hopefully. So that's what I'm praying for, I'm praying to get used that fish that I dropped last video or even bigger. I am not exactly in the same spot but I'm not too far so. I'm hoping that maybe something swims through here. I've had luck in this spot before with big fish so if you went back to watch some of my previous Yarra River videos and cod fishing videos you will see a couple big fish that i've caught previously in the 90s and they were from this spot it's been a while since i've been here i'm just hoping to get at least one fish and i'll be stoked well, let's get these baits soaking and uh see you when the rod takes off you legends eh Yee! all right fellas this is just an update we're about an hour or so in we've just passed the major bite time and it's been very quiet we haven't had a bite not a hit we do have some very big baits on, so I'm thinking maybe 
give it another half an hour, 40 minutes with these on maybe. And then I might try halve the baits. That whole one, I'll probably just put a little tiny head on. I'll take the head off and put a chunk on and see if downgrading the bait catches the average size fish because at the moment I'm just targeting big ones and I'm not sure if a 50 or 60 would even hit that whole carp or carp head. I would assume it would, but I've just never caught them small on it. So every time I use big baits, I only get big bites. And I want to be able to make a video for you guys. So this is my second or third attempt at chasing a Murray cod since that last cod video and I've had no luck. Um, so I'm definitely trying for years. Trying my hardest. It's not paying off, but we'll get a couple. I got faith. The only thing that's turning me off is the fact we've passed the bite time. Usually that's when I get the bite in that hour or two period when the major is. Even if it's the middle of the day, it always seems to work. But uh, we'll persist. That's all you can do, eh? Just persist. Give it a little bit of time. You just never know. All right, legends. Thanks for staying in this long, and uh, let's keep these baits soaking and try to get you as a fish. Yee -yee -yee -yee. That was huge. Holy shit, that could have killed me. That is the branch that just fell. This whole thing, 100% would have killed me. It's huge. Can't even, you wouldn't even get your hands around that. I'd go in there, but there's just spider webs everywhere. Look at them. Jesus. And I'm just there. All right, fellas. That was the scariest moment I've ever had fishing. I mean, it's happened before, but never usually that thick of a tree branch where legitimately, if that fell on me, I would be dead. Um, so definitely keep an eye on your surroundings when fishing and that is exactly why they say don't camp and put your tents and swags under trees because that is a healthy tree all the limbs are green you would not expect it to break even the limb that broke is really really green it's like only 20k winds as well it's not windy today my lines aren't even moving i just don't understand how that nearly killed me I looked up at the right time, I don't know if the camera caught it, but I saw it cracking, cracking. I looked, I saw it crack, I saw it fall all the way to the ground and I was ready making sure that if it was coming my way, I was going to jump into the water if I had to. Your life's too important. So definitely keep an eye out of your surroundings when fishing. It's definitely keeping me awake right now. I was bored sitting here, tired, fishing all day and uh, once that happened, it woke me up. So keep hydrated, grab some snacks and let's hope to get a cup. Legends, eh? See you when I hook up, hopefully. No more catastrophic failures or hopefully no natural disasters come through and kill me on the way to my uh, metery journey. So I'll see you on the, uh, on the other side. Legends.